Hey guys, Dave from 3D DIY. I am upstate at Maker Camp. Uh, every October, uh, makers from all over the country come together to make stuff and have a great time. This is my fourth year. Uh, and every year I come here with my 3D scanner and I scan makers and I upload those files to my maker scan project. And anyone can go and download those files and use those for anything they want. And this year I've been uh, able to come up with my uh, the Vega uh, from, and it's a portable 3D scanner from Shining 3D and I've been able to just walk around and scan all kinds of stuff. This is my son Miles. Miles say hi. And uh, so uh, this video is going to be a bunch of scans that I've done around camp. Uh, people know that I come up with a scanner so a lot of people bring objects and have me scan it and help them with their projects later on and, and as well as scanning some makers. So uh, although today has been really rainy and not that great, the rest of the weekend has been fantastic. So the following are a bunch of clips and stuff from, uh, from the weekend and uh, I'll talk through some voiceovers of what was going on, what we're scanning, what we're doing and some fun clips of camp itself. So see you guys Whoa. in the video. So as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people come to Maker Camp excited to be 3D scanned for my Maker Scans project, which is basically a portrait series of makers from the community. In past years though, it was always a bit of a hassle. I'd have this huge backpack with all my stuff in it, and then I'd be tethered to an outlet with my laptop, extension cords everywhere, and constantly trying not to trip over the scanner cable. All the while, I'm glancing at my laptop to make sure I'm not losing tracking and staying within the optimal scanning distance. But as you can see in this clip, thanks to the Vega, the process is so much faster and easier. I'm also able to get these full body scans done in about a minute now, which is a huge improvement. There are a couple of reasons for that. One, I have more freedom to move around, and two, the fast scan mode on the Vega lets me step back and capture a larger area at once, which is a big upgrade from the Einstar I was using before. My scanning process starts with a full rotation around the head, then I move down to the torso, and finally around the lower body. This approach helps the scanner keep track of positioning. Even if the person sways a bit, by the time I'm scanning near the floor, there's usually less movement, which makes the whole process smoother. Here's the scan all processed out. In fast mode, you can go down to 0.5 millimeter resolution, but for full body scans, I find that two millimeter works better. This scan was done with watertight mode enabled and no smoothing applied. Here is a bust of my friend Luke that I scanned and processed at a slightly higher resolution. You can see there's a bit more detail in the skin and hair. Speaking of my friend Luke, one day he asked me to scan his leg and boot. He plans to turn it into a lamp for the holidays, and if you're picturing the lamp from A Christmas Story, you're spot on. Just imagine a much less sexy version with a work boot instead of heels and fishnets. What I really loved about this scan was how spontaneous the whole thing was. The sling you see me wearing here, that's where I kept the Vega all weekend. Anytime I wanted to scan something, I just pull it out, turn it on, and hit scan. It made the process feel effortless and opened up new opportunities just as if I was taking a picture. Here's the scan of the leg. It turned out fine, but the boot didn't capture as much detail as I wanted, so I decided to scan the boot separately in HD mode, and that was impressive. You can really see the difference in texture between the leather and the elastic, and even branding of the Brunt logo came out clearly. This year at Maker Camp, we had rocket races. Inspired by the 90s video game Wipeout, the Toto Boat tent had these laser-cut kits we assembled and painted using their products. There were some really creative and customized racers. My son and Luke each made their own. Since I had the Vega with me, I thought it'd be fun to scan one of the rockets to see what details I could pick up. I used fast mode and processed it at a medium setting, and I was surprised by how much detail it captured, like the thickness of the paint. For practical uses, the scan would be perfect for getting measurements and positioning if ever I wanted to recreate the rocket in the future. The rockets were a huge hit at camp, especially with all the kids participating. On the last day, the rain made the lines super slick, so the rockets were flying further and faster. It got a little sketchy, but it was pretty fun to watch. 
Xyla Fox was there and she built a rocket that just refused to follow the guideline, which added even more excitement to the mix. One night, I was sitting under the pavilion. I saw what I thought was a little kid riding a tricycle with glowing red lights in the middle of the field. Turns out it was much creepier. Someone had built a remote-controlled skeleton on a little tricycle pulling a small coffin filled with candy. Naturally, I had to scan it. I did the scan quickly, in about 30 seconds, just walking around and capturing it from one angle. Despite the holes and missing details, I was really impressed how fast fast mode really is. There was definitely room for improvement with the scan, better angles, focusing longer on certain areas to capture more data, but what I really wanted to highlight is how spontaneous it was. I saw something cool in the middle of the field, rushed over to another tent, and just started scanning. I didn't need to lug my laptop around, find an outlet, or deal with extension cords. This kind of scan could never have happened before without careful planning, but now it's just grab and go. This video doesn't go into specific specs of the Vega. I have another video that I made that you can find linked above here. There are also plenty of great videos on Shining 3D's YouTube channel. What really excited me about the Vega is that it's Shining 3D's first truly portable wireless 3D scanner. And what better way to put it through its paces than spending a long weekend in a field with a bunch of makers at Maker Camp. And if you're interested in Maker Camp, check them out on Instagram and I'll see you guys next year. Thanks.